He really did. Seika Sakura's flavor. Offer the electric sword just to. Okay, thanks. Ooh, we're finally on our own way again. I suppose it's time we find Toma. Now, where did he say he would meet us again? Oh, right! Kamori Tea House! So, yeah, okay, we're still continuing Act 1. I believe, yeah, we can just, we can't teleport here, right? Yeah, we can. So we're on our way to the Komori Tea House, and I need to heal up Xiao. Using that oil multiple times can be quite taxing, as, you know, drains his health slowly. If I'm not careful enough, he can die in a matter of seconds. I need, I'm still getting used to that. By the way, look at all these electroculus. Uh, so we can activate this teleport waypoint. Like waypoints, I'm gonna be going for on my own. I'm gonna be going for on camera. But electroculus, I don't think I'm gonna be caring about too much. I'll just get them off camera on my own time. You know, do my own stuff. I'm doing my own. When they do my own stuff, so it doesn't become too overly complicated. Now we don't have waypoints unlocked properly yet, so it's going to. Be, so we're gonna be taking the long way while getting some waypoints. Ow! That was not called for. Rude. We have another waypoint there. Yeah, actually, there's a world quest there as well, which are done so you can get your retrib re like your retribution and everything. But those are things we're gonna care about later on. We don't have to worry about that now. And there's there, there, there's a fox. There's a fox. This is in fact a fox. I feel very threatened by the fox. I don't know how to feel about the fox. This this is very threatening. I'm going to run away from that fox now. Okay. Complete. I I I I thought I knew that was gonna happen. Inazuma City. So this is the main place. It's just called Inazuma City. Nope. Okay. We have the. We, so so this is the main city of Inazuma, huh? I thought I had my I had my I had my guesses, but yeah, I think this yeah that makes sense for this one to be it. We can climb up here. I'm mean, like I feel like there could be multiple cities in Inazuma. This is just one of them. Plus we also just went to the harbor down there called Rito. We have a lot of people, and they all share the same and they all share the same character the character. She, she know, I, I'm, I'm about to forget the joke. Um, uh, let's just ignore that. I just that happened. The I was gonna ask. I was going to say, they all share the same character design. That's the way. Coincidence? Okay, I'm joking. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be kind of. I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. That, that was just a joke. Okay. Don't cancel me over something like this, please. Anyway, here's the tea house. According to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're not the general public! Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> Are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, uh, what Paimon means to say is... Uh... Hmm, the Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. Hmm. Every time I think we've we're done with this chapter, with this act, it's always there's always more to do. Let's head to the Komore Tea House. Hey, look at that! And then there's Zuma symbol. He was just there, Paimon, for like one second, bro. Paimon oh, doesn't see him anywhere. Do you think he forgot his promise to meet us? Who forgot their promise? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. What? Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've oh, seen him in this form? I think like they talked about this. His name is like Taramaru or something like that, and I was gonna say, he's either Toma's, like, pet, 
or he is Toma himself, because there's no way that they made a dog have the similar name to Toma. Right? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. Never mind. Hey, you're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister. <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier, though it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same, but when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Oh, no. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the omnipresent god. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. The omnipresent god. One might think that this is Raiden Shogun, but no, I don't think this is Raiden Shogun. So, this is rather interesting. Oh, it's... Hold on. Wait. Seriously? Is this place not Tenshukaku, the capital of Inazuma? Because I swear, I think that is Tenshukaku. And that's... That's either the death- That is either the, the actual statue of the omnipresent god Or that is the hundred eyed- like a hundred- like a thousand eyed hundred arm statue It has to be But... That's in- oh interesting I just see this coming probably don't come here often, do they? Huh? O are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. Visions? You mean all the visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. So the theory about the Vision Hunt Decree is kind of true. That these visions are all collected to be melted and embedded in this hunt in this hundred eyed thousand arm whatever you want to call the statue. I mean I don't think this was even a theory, I feel like this was hundred percent confirmed even. But interesting. We're getting to the good parts. Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the city of freedom, and Leo is the city of contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The Eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding, 
As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being... Oh, I don't know. Something? Raiden Shogun. <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. That was creepy. Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then... And then what? What? I could hear the sound of people's aspirations. Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. Okay, before I continue on, I want to bring up one thing. He said that the gods, what the the gods look favor upon people with certain ambition. That's very similar, and in fact, a very clever analogy to what visions are. G divine gifts from Celestia to people, in which in due time they will be able to ascend to the to the no place known as Celestia. These Archons give their visions to these people, and one day they will be able to ascend to Celestia, which is kind of like heaven. That favor is kind of ascending to Celestia, but the Electro Archons are against that idea. So, that really kind of brings in new questions, but in a way, we can kind of see where the Electro Archons are kind of seeing this from, but we never saw the Electro Archon for ourselves other than that one scene in the trailer. So... I'm very curious to see what exactly this is, what exactly will happen. Not just that, but there are theories about the Electro Archon not being as evil or an, an antagonistic as you think, but rather missed. How do you say... How, how would you say it? It's like you looked at it the wrong way. That's, that, that's how I'm gonna say it. Misunderstood, there we go. Alright, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato Residence. Cause pe cause the wheat and continuing off from where I left off. Can I access a waypoint here? Here, yeah, there's the waypoint. Sorry, but as I was, I was as I wanted to continue. I think the electro archons just simply misunderstood, and if the theories about what visions really are is true. Then I think the Electro Archon is doing him a favor. In fact, yeah, the Electro Archon is definitely doing them a favor. Since the the big deer that I've been looking into was our, it was visions being represented the eye of the gods. Or like visions in Chinese usually means eye of the gods. So it's kind of like a spying tool for these archons to use. You know what? We can actually just teleport to here. So we can take a different path. If visions are the eye of the gods, that means it's kind of a bad thing to people, to humans, and a very helpful thing to the Archons, as the whole point of an Archon rule is, look, is to oversee their their own nations, or their own territories they are given. Twelve Arch- twelve- uh, like no, seven Archons came out of the Archon War. Where there are seven Archons total, one for each element. And it definitely seems that Some of these archons kind of, kind of doesn't approve of that, and that will kind of explain why archons would use gnosis instead of a vision. 
as a vision, as they don't need visions for the elemental powers. They have Gnosis, which is pretty much the remains the heart of the gods. And these visions can be a tool, a trap per se, to to kind kind of take advantage of the um of like advantage of the of the people of Tavad. And one day they will be sent to Celestia, which, in the Genshin Impact comic book slash manga, or manga, Celestia is rep is represented is shown to be a oh my god you scared me. Celestia is shown to be why is there such a major? I don't I don't have something to do with you. Also the music is really good. I want I want to just give a few moments to the music, but I can't right now because I'm deep into this lore or this theory. But Celestia is shown to be some sort of prison or some kind. And if Celestia is prison and the gods are giving visions to make these people ascend there, then what? who can say that visions are a good thing? They're traps. They're, it's something that people really should not be supporting, but they are being baited by this little gift. Of the gods, which is definitely not a gift. So, there's that going on there. And, but the Electro Archon is having this vision hunt decree to kind of fight against the gods giving visions. So, that, and not, and not just that, but out of the seven Archons for the Archon War, two of the only ones that remain, Animal and Geo, Fenty and Zhang Li, Barbados and Morax, you know the two guys that we met. Starting from the Electro Archon, are Archons that have all been replaced ever since the Archon War. So this is not the original, original Electro Archon from the Archon War. So maybe that has some, maybe that's another, that has something to do with this as well. Why the Electro Archon caused this vision hunt decree. Maybe she's kind of against what the other Archons are doing and such, so taking visions away rather than granting these gifts to Celestia. Sure I mean, I'm it was stated that, that the Electro Archon wants believes that visions only belong to the divinity, the the godlike beings, and the supporters. Such as we saw in the trailers, Kuju Sala, which is a which is the adopted daughter of the, ten of the Kuju clan who leads the Tenryo Commission. So that once again kind of bring that brings that up on if Shogun is the new Archon, is she really an Archon? What if she is? What if she's not the original Electro Archon? Sure Maybe there was an actual Electro Archon that is not right in sh that is not sh Shogun in quotes that we saw in the trailer. Like there's these theories that come up in Inazuma, they're all end up being a mystery because we really don't know a lot about Inazuma. All we can say, or all we can say, are just these theories. And um speculations from past resources that we got, or current stores that we have. We really don't know much about Inazuma and the Rhinus Shogun. It's like, it's, she's really misunderstood. So I really can't go against her yet. It all, de it's all depends on what's gonna happen, what, what we're gonna see next. I'm sorry for rambling, but I feel like this is super important to mention, knowing that this is an Archon quest. And this is huge when it comes to lore. And story and everything related to Genshin Impact. So yeah, you bet I'm hyped about it. So let's enter the Yas the Yashihiro Commission headquarters. I'm excited because I know who's coming up next. So this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kind of expected it to be snazzier. Welcome, at last, to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. By the way, before we move on, I just want to say, I'm super excited because you know, if you saw my reaction, you know the character that's about to come out, come out is one of my favorite characters of all time. Ever since I first like saw her, like she was a character that I was like, okay, she might be interesting, and later on, as she slowly gain more screen time through leaks and playstyle and character and backstory, I immediately just fell in love with her. You have no idea. I'm sorry, but I I'm, I'm so excited. I'm I'm super excited to see her. Is this the Shirasage Himigimi you keep going on about? 
Like, so, uh, you have no idea. Where's she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Uh, makes sense. She's a super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Oh... <sighs> See, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. Why, am I, why is the Traveler so cold-hearted? I get it, I understand his desperation, but come on, man. Uh, unless this is another test, and I'm getting completely debated right now. No, please! Wait! Please, don't go! <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village, a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. <laughs> 